What's happening everyone? On this video I'm going to be dowel pinning the crank on my 2 litre stroker motor. Absolutely essential modification if you're going to be running big power, high RPM, if you've got upgraded valve springs, all the rest of it. You're putting a load more pressure through that tiny little crank pulley keyway and it's known to be a weak point. So I solved that on this video so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm also going to be doing another t-shirt giveaway so stay tuned for that. So let's get on with it. Time to fit the crankshaft pulley. Um, this is the crankshaft pulley and it sits on the end of the crank. Now it's the job of the crankshaft pulley to take the rotation from the crank and you know drive the cylinder head, the water pump, all through the timing belt. So you'd think that VW would make this a super strong part of the engine. Uh, no. This is one of them at t weak points and it's all because of this keyway that's on the end of the crank. On the crank side that's actually quite strong. But on the pulley side, that little keyway there is known to be a weak point and that can actually snap off, which can straight away put your engine out of time, which means you get you know, valve to piston contact and you can write your engine off completely. All because of that tiny, teeny, little teensy keyway there. Now there's a few ways you can sort that out. First of all, you can upgrade to the ARP crank pulley bolt, which we're going to. That's a good uh, little modification. And it just has more strength than the original crank pulley bolt, so therefore shouldn't allow any movement. And then on top of that, you can get a billet wheel. So you can actually replace this full bit with a bit of billet. And uh, it just means that that little keyway there is much stronger. Quite expensive though. Uh, another option is you can get the little Eka shims, which are, you know, like they're like little friction discs basically, which again, sort of try and prohibit that crank pulley from moving and putting all of the load onto that keyway because that's the weak point. But there's a much simpler way that I'm going to do it uh, and it's the way that I've done it before and I'm going to dowel pin this crank. And all that means is I drill through the pulley into the crank uh, and then I install these little 4mm dowel pins. Now some people use 4 and a bit, 5mm. I use 4mm to good effect. They, they seem to sort of fit the nose of the crank area okay. But they do have to be fitted really precisely so you have to drill them under size and then open them up with this drill bit here. Now this is a 4mm reamer bit and basically all I do is I drill it to 3mm then say 37 so it's just under. Ream the holes out to 4mm exactly and that means that the dowel pin will be nice and tight in there. Because if there's any movement on that dowel pin then you effectively haven't fixed the problem. So it's got to be nice and precise. So we'll start off by drilling the, uh, the crank pulley itself. It's a pretty simple process where you just got to punch mark the pulley. Then drill out to the first drill size. I use 3mm. I then drill out to 37 Now I had to be careful when I drilled these holes because if you drill them too close to that centre bolt hole then by the time you put it onto the end of the crank uh, the holes for the dowels are actually a little bit too close to this uh, bolt hole in the middle and the hole is bigger on the crank. How many times can I say hole? Jesus. The hole is bigger on the crank and you want to get the dowel pins in that meaty part of the crank. I've probably just went a fraction, fraction, fraction too close but it will still transfer really well. So now all I do is fit this crank pulley on the end of the crank and now I'll drill into the crank through these holes but I've got to make sure that crank pulley's solid so I've ground down this crank pulley bolt I've took the lip off it so it fits over here but still gives us access to drill these holes out Now the only thing to be aware of here before you drill is just how deep you're going to go and uh, now the crank's got loads of meat on it so you really haven't got any problems with regards to how deep you go but I'm using 4mm by 30mm long hardened steel dowels. You can use different sizes. I've seen 5mm being used and I've seen, I'm pretty sure I pulled some out not long ago and they were like 40mm long, which you can't go that far. The crank pulley itself is about 15 I'll just go in another 15 and that's enough. That's enough just to get that little bit of extra surface area on the crank pulley. So therefore, even if the, you know, the crank pulley comes loose or the keyway breaks, then pins will hold that pulley absolutely solid. So, let's get drilling. Ok, 
Can you see what I mean about that top one? I was probably just a little bit too close to the inside of the bolt hole, but to be honest, that's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So that's now drilled out to 3.7. So I'll put this back on and we'll ream them out to four mil. Boom, four mil holes. So even though I've just drilled two there, I've only fitted one. And that's because when you put two in, it can be a right pain to get the pulley on. And it's an even bigger pain getting the pulley back off again. So I'll put one in, we'll then put the pulley on, and then I'll drive the second one in it. And that'll be the pulley nigh on locked on the end of the crank. So that's the pulley pinned onto the crank now. Now I've used two, uh, some people just use one. It's probably a good enough to be honest, but the whole point of it is that you're adding, you know, that extra bit of sort of sheer strength uh, from the surface area that you're putting in through the pins. So I just put two in. I've done it before and this is the way I'm doing it now as well. Use one, use two, use four mil, use five mil. It's up to you. I use four mil, 30 mil pins and I put two of them in. T-shirt giveaway time yet again. To get one of these bad boys, all you have to do is like this video, comment, um, this time leave a message for Spencer. He hasn't been around for a bit, so leave a comment for Spencer, tell him that he's in your thoughts, <laughs> and uh, hopefully he's staying safe and he'll be back on the channel as soon as Boris lets him out the house. So like the video, comment for Spencer, and you could win one of these T-shirts. Right, time to fit the crank pulley bolt. Now this is an integrated engineering ARP bolt and this bolt takes a 1316 12 point socket. It's like one of them funny American sizes. It is integrated engineering to be honest, it's an American company. Uh, and it goes in here with red Loctite, 78 foot pounds plus, 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 plus a quarter turn. <laughs> and I imagine that quarter turn will be pretty difficult. So there's a good chance you might see decimal Nick struggle here a little bit. <laughs> But the really cool thing about this is I get to use the Mark II crank pulley tool. Surely you've seen the video where I make this tool and if it works out now, you're probably going to want to copy it because let's face it, it'll be amazing. And if it doesn't work out, I'll probably edit it to make it look like it does work out. <laughs> right, so just bolt this bad boy up. It's looking good. Now the bolt. 78 foot pounds dialed in on the torque wrench. So let's go for it. Right, another quarter turn on this bolt means that this IE label here has to come around and be up here. So I'm going to scribe a mark here. So I know exactly when that IE point gets to here, and that'll be it sorted. I'm going to get some uni strut out just so I don't damage anything. Woohoo! I've read that bolt is an absolute nightmare, and in all honesty, it wasn't actually that bad. I mean, I had to get the big old uni strut on it, get some leverage, but yeah. Spotty dog. It's crazy really to think that the engine that you've got like thousands invested in possibly um, could all be saved by a little bag of drill bits and dowels. It's mental isn't it really, really really simple little modification to do. So hopefully that has either helped you or you've been entertained by it. <laughs> Bending over, giving it <laughs> So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, now there's going to be a little bit of a delay on the t-shirts uh, announcement, whoever wins. But please do like and comment on the video. Gives a message for Spencer and uh, he'll get to read them all. It'll make him feel all nice and warm inside. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one.